Polyphasic sleep is unhealthy. Polyphasic sleep is dangerous. You're harming yourself when you're sleeping like this. Now hold your horses. Where's your evidence for this claim? Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crimson Flower and I'm a main author of Polyphasic.net, the community recommended resource for polyphasic sleepers. So today I'm going to introduce you to a series of videos that we're making on the topic of is polyphasic sleep dangerous? Uh, we're going to examine this question and give insight to it so that you can decide for yourself what you think about the different topics presented. Um, the health aspect of polyphasic sleep can be split into two parts, where the first part is the question of if polyphasic sleep is dangerous. The second question would be is polyphasic sleep actually healthier than monophasic sleep? And the latter question is much harder to show than the first one. So that's why we need to tackle the one of dangers before the one of benefits, okay? The reality here could be that polyphasic sleep is negative in some aspects, but positive in others. You know, nothing in this world is black and white. But I'm not going to result into making definite claims in this video. I'll leave that for the individual ones in this series. So the purpose of this series is to address the question of is polyphasic sleep dangerous? First a bit of background. Many experts have claimed that polyphasic sleep is dangerous without really backing it up by a whole lot. In my opinion that's not a very good thing to do. Uh, so we'll split these episodes into a few parts. First, we'll present you with the topic for the video and why it could be used to show that polyphasic sleeping is dangerous. Then we'll go over what tests the community has done thus far on these topics and finally we'll talk about what can be done in the future and what's going to be done in the future. The idea here is to let you build a basis so that you can understand what to check for yourself or if you're a skeptic looking to debunk polyphasic sleep to show you what you need to find evidence for in order to have any ground for your claims. When talking about scientific theories, which I'm by the way not claiming that polyphasic sleep is, but still when talking about scientific theories, uh, there are several different ways to prove them wrong if you would find evidence for it. Uh, for example, if you could show that organisms spontaneously develop or are created supernaturally, uh, that could be one way to show that evolution is wrong. Uh, and that's going to be a focal point of these videos. But okay, several of these videos are going to be built around the question are polyphasic sleepers actually sleep deprived? And we we'll look at a bunch of different perspectives to help us determine the answer to this question. In this series, we'll make use of peer-reviewed scientific papers, uh, gathered community-based evidence uh, from external devices like EEGs, and just opinions where no evidence can be found. But we'll be very sure to specify which type of evidence we're using when we're making claims. We also acknowledge the hierarchy of the different types of evidence and we'll be sure to go for the best ones when they are available. If you're interested in seeing what we're going to talk about in these individual videos, be sure to subscribe so we don't miss out when we release the individual videos in this series and get across different points here. And okay, that's all for today. I hope to see you in a future video. Nap well, people! Hey, I'm Akahana, an editor on this channel. If this video matters to you, click the subscribe button and the bell icon to get the latest info on mastering your sleep. We want to help you work towards the life you want on your terms and in your time. Please consider donating via our secure Ko-fi page as this helps sustain website costs and data gathering efforts across our communities. If you have any questions, check the links below and contact us directly. Thank you.